the architecture for uh, Asia Pacific security has three layers to it, basically three things going on. One of them is countries trying to take care of their own security through self-help and means. Uh, the second is uh, bilateral alliances that the United States has struck with a number of countries and other kinds of functional partnerships that countries pursue. But what makes this architecture in Asia-Pacific interesting is that there's a third layer, and that third layer of, uh, is institutions, uh, efforts by ASEAN, by other, other countries in the region to create multilateral processes that try to build rules, try to make a, a, a way of, of dealing with problems that is not decided just by big powers and great powers, but by uh, uh, collective established rules. And no country and no region uh, has been more successful than uh, the countries in, in Southeast Asia in building through ASEAN, uh, an organization that's not perfect, can't do everything, but that has uh, been very successful in minimizing the conflict among its members. What's interesting is that in institution building now, there's no shortage. 25 years ago, there were very few of these multilateral processes. Now there's, there's so many of them. Some directed by ASEAN, some directed by other countries in the region. China is now not just in the, in the business of participating in Southeast Asian-based uh, activities. China's creating some of its own through the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and other, other things. So the, the playing field for multilateral institutions has become much, much more complex. And in the, with so many things happening, there are two big questions that are being asked. First, with so many different processes, are they actually producing something? Is the region more secure uh, because of many kinds of institutions that exist? And the answer there is, Yes, at least up to a point. Uh, the success uh, in the reduction of conflict uh, in East Asia and Southeast Asia has been pretty dramatic over the last 25 years. So uh, there might be many explanations for that, but one of them is these new multilateral processes. But at the same time, they haven't gone very far. Uh, there are still the prospects of major power uh, force buildups. There are still difficulties that are emerging. Uh, at the level of, uh, uh, of big powers, traditional security and non-traditional security issues. So it's a, it's a mixed success rate, but it's valuable. question is, what comes next? Do we need more institutions in the region? The probably answer is no, but we need ones that have a clearer focus on what they wish to do. The East Asia Summit process, which is now going to be the most ambitious of these multilateral processes, it's trying to figure out what it wants to accomplish. Uh, what is, what, when you get heads of government together to talk about political, security, economic issues, what's their agenda really going to be? And that's not known. Uh, it's, it's in evolution. And my sense is the conversation won't just be about specific conflicts. Those are pretty difficult to approach. They won't just be about non-traditional security issues. A lot of that is already going on. The big thing that the region needs is a discussion of its regional security order. What are these institutions expected to achieve? What does the region want its rules, its kinds of organization to look like? And that's on the planning boards at, uh, at meetings like this one. Uh, the Asia Pacific Roundtable that for 29 years has been discussing what regional institutions might do. Uh, so with, with that, at this particular meeting, uh, we'll be looking at uh, trying to deal with some specific conflicts, trying to deal with maritime challenges, but fundamentally trying to deal with the rise of China. And for all of these institutions, multilateral, the bilateral alliance system, individual self-help, how to adjust to a rise of China, what needs to be done to uh, accommodate legitimate Chinese interests, and legitimate Chinese visions, and at the same time to, to, to try to uh, eliminate or reduce undue or un, uh, improper Chinese influence. That's, that's the big question for this meeting and so many others in the region right now.